Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Gulfstream Park here on Thursday. It is the 22nd of December, 2022. Going to look at the seventh race from Gulfstream, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. The seventh from Gulfstream, it's Lounge Optional Claimer per $72,000. Race for three year olds and upwards, never won 12,000 twice in the main claim starter, restricted race, or it's never won three races, or it's not won a race since March the 22nd of 2022. Optional claim price, $62,000. Uh, field of nine horses heading to the main track. The distance of ground of 1,400 meters or the distance of ground of seven furlongs in the Goldstream Park main track. 1,400 meters, seven furlongs here. And I show the diagram. It just gives me a second to look down my notes. Just bear with me. The top selection. I'm going to go with the number nine horse here, Secret Alliance. 9142 for me in the Superfecta. 9142 Super. Top selection, nine horse, Secret Alliance. This three year old gelding by um, Curlin. John Service trains this one. Jose Ortiz gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing came at Delaware on the 17th of June. A mile 70 in a lounge race uh, for older horses, non 3 0. First time facing older horses. He finished second by three and a half lengths that day. He sat back early. He had a little bit of a turn of foot, but he just needed something more. I didn't think it was a half bad race. Coming here off the bench back to seven, not the world's toughest race where he doesn't need the lead. He can get a good tracking trip. I think he could really run a good race and I think he can win. I think there's a lot of front end speed that should suit up for him. Two back of Parks in the 9th of May, one mile in option 40. He won by a half a length in a dream tracking position. He tracked all the way around the racetrack. When he got to the front end, he quickened up nicely and he got the job done. A very good race from there. Major improvement off the race before, which is which was Federico Tessio at Laurel. A mile in the 8th on the 16th of April. He finished fifth by six and a quarter lengths that day. Didn't break so well. He got bumped. He was wide and he just wasn't showing up. Nine of nine at Laurel going a mile length on the dirt is very tough to win by. He just wasn't getting it there. And then sprinting before that at six furlongs of Parks and Main Special. He won by three. On the front end all throughout dueling, he got the job done. He's trading very well. Palm Meadows at 12 to one. I'm going to give him a shot. The one horse endorsed the old man. It wouldn't surprise me if he wins. He was close but no cigar on the 5th of November at Keeneland going six and a half in an optional hundred. He just missed late but it was a very good run at 20 to 1. Before that, uh, at Kentucky Downs, he just wasn't handling the quirkiness of the ground uh, uh, of the course. He hasn't won in quite a while here, but uh, he's due for a good race. I'm going to give him a shot. He likes this track. He only has one victory, but he has two places in two thirds. So uh, let's use him on the ticket also. And the four horse, Paco's Pico. It wouldn't surprise me if he steals on the front end. Off the bench last time out, I really like that victory. Going back to seven. Let's give him a shot also in the multis. But to recap my selection for the seventh from Goldstream, uh, let's take the nine horse Secret Alliance. Give kudos to the one horse endorsed in the four horse Paco Pico. Nine one four two super nine one four in your multi race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck everybody.